Well, this video uh, just showing how to set up and configure a DDC420 controller inside PS4000 so that you can get uh, a direct download into the controller physically. Um, I showed an earlier video how to com commission the controller to give it an IP address and a default ID. Um, you have to apply the same settings inside PS4000 so that the two can, to, can, can communicate. So the first thing we need to do is to access the DDC tab and then introduce a DDC 4000 network. We introduce the controller by right clicking on the network and select new and then choose DDC 420. Just double click to get one controller. And now I right click and look at the properties of that device. And go to properties. Okay, so now we come up with the, the, the property screen for the DDC controller. The first setting I need to make is to give it the default address which is 99 and just scroll down to the bottom of the list. The second setting is I need to give it the address of 192.168.1.99 and I now need to give it the BACnet device ID of 99. Okay so that's the three addresses on the DDC controller itself. I also need to commission the language of the controller to be English. If I don't change that when I make my download it would go back to German. Okay that's all the changes on that page. I don't need to make any more. If I go to the tab 4000 page I can start to commission the controller settings for the canvas operation and also the backnet operation. So if I expand the group 0 and explain plant zero and then the next group I can go to CAN bus and we enable the field bus 3000 I just double click on field bus 3000 and it opens up the group and I can set the value from off to on this will allow my field bus modules to work Again, if I'd made this download without making this change, it would not enable field bus. The next operation is system time, where I set the time zone of the controller. And I set this to be Europe and London. And now my controller is ready I'm waiting for a program to be in, created for it and now I can make the download. So without making these settings you will not be able to communicate with the controller. If I just close this window down, I hit the enter key, there's one final setting and that's on the network level. I highlight the DDC4000 network and then right click with the mouse and go to properties and this time I come across to network configuration and I must set the default gateway to be that of the controller 1.1 and hit the enter key. Everything else now is compatible. Everything is compatible within PS4000. I must also make sure my laptop IP address range also is compatible with the controller. And to do that, I can select open the network and sharing center and I can go to change adapter settings and go onto my local area connection, just double click on there and I can open up internet protocol version 4 and I can commission my IP address to be fixed, anything other than 1.99 as in 192.168.1.205 in this example. Subnet mask is exactly the same as the controller 255.255.255.0 and my default gateway is exactly the same as I commissioned in PS4000 and the DDC420 192.168.1.1. I can then apply those settings and you can ignore that on this case. Apply those settings and now I'm ready to communicate with the controller once I've made my uh, physical connection to it. Thank you.